everyone, it's Michelle and today I've got a haul video for you because yet again I have done way too much shopping and anyway um, I don't even know what to start off with so I went to like four different places I only meant to go to two places I meant to go to Ulta and Victoria's Secret but I ended up going to Sears and to Focus so anyway um, let me get started in this I actually went to I'll start off with Ulta first so I went to Ulta because I needed to pick up a um, hair dryer because I had a little mishap with my clipless curling iron and I ended up burning myself pretty badly because I was in too much of a hurry and it just went sliding right out of my hands and 400 degrees of heat right on the side of your neck is not cool. And especially when you have work and you have school, you really don't want to go around with a burn that looks like a hickey. So that is not a hickey. It's a burn and if it was a hickey, that would be really gross if it blistered and peeled like this is doing. So if you see that in subsequent videos of mine, it's a burn from my curling iron. So anyway, I went out and I got the Revlon and it's this pro style. And so this one has, um, it has a lot to it. I was going to get the Remington, but this one has more features even than the Remington did. It's got the Ionic ceramic um, technology in it, and it also has a switch so you can turn that on or off. And it says it on the side here. And then it has like three different heat settings and then it has two of the speed settings and it has dual fans in it and all of that and it comes with accessories so it has a diffuser and it has the concentrator for like styling your hair so I got this and this was $24.99 the Remington was uh, originally $39.99 but it was on a deal for $29.99 but I saw this one and I was like okay I'm gonna get this one so save a little bit of money so I'm hoping that this will work out well because my hair really doesn't like blow dryers but it's been getting a lot healthier because I've been taking much better care of my hair and even this normally my hair like I just washed it yesterday and then I styled it this morning and normally that doesn't work with my hair normally it's kind of like poof, like a frizz ball but since it's been getting healthier and all of that I've been using more nutrient rich um, like hair masks and all of that for my hair it's gotten a lot healthier and I've been using better heat protectants and all of that in my hair so I'm not like frying my hair so I also got the Revlon uh, round brush and this is also the um, ceramic and it's also 100% boar bristles which is really good because that's a whole lot less damaging for your hair so I picked this up and it was a, I was gonna get the Conair one for $8.99 but then it didn't say that it was 100% boar bristle brush so I got this one instead for a dollar more so $9.99 for this and that's gonna go with the blow dryer so I can blow dry my hair straight I also picked up a uh, FX Moroccan Moisture Healing Argan Oil Spray and I've heard a lot about argan oil and how it's really good for your hair and it helps to like mend split ends and how it's, um, it helps to defrizz your hair and keep it nice and shiny and all of that and manageable. So that's always a plus for me because I have really frizzy hair because I've got coarse thick hair especially at the back and then I've got the fine little hairs in the front. So this will be really great for smoothing that all out. And I've never tried um, this brand before so maybe I'll do a little review on this and see how I like it and this one I think this one was $5.99 so because I was gonna get the um, not your or the got to be heat protectant spray for the 425 degrees of heat but I figured I already have my Tresemme so that'll work for now and then maybe later on when I'm running out of that I'll get the um, got to be so this one was $5.99 and I also got this Glam and it's a chocolate cream for anti-frizz and shine and this was on clearance and I got it for $4.80 it was originally $16 and anyway I don't even know like it's G&G &G hair is the brand of this so I'll probably do a review on this as well because I've never even seen this product before but it looked really interesting it's a little ball here 
And let me see if I can open it here. See what it looks like. Ooh, it smells really good. It smells like chocolate, so that's awesome. So it's this kind of sticky paste type thing going on. So maybe it'll add a little bit of texture even to my hair. I'm not sure. There was another one, but I was like, no, I'll just do this one. So that one was $4.80. And then I also needed to get another um, face cleanser because I'm running out of the other ones that I have. And I love the other ones that I had there, the um, Clean and Clear. But my face is still breaking out a little bit here and there, and it could be because I've been stressed out. I've got a 10-page research paper due for class, and then I've got a whole bunch of other stuff going on. But anyway, um, I decided to try this Basis, and I've never tried this brand before, and it's Cleaner Clean Face Wash. And this one was really great because it says it's 100% oil-free and soap-free. And so I was like, well, that's really a great thing for me because I don't like, you know, having any kind of residue in my skin from like oils or soap. So this one should be really good. And it's a gentle face wash. So that's always great for me because I've got really super sensitive skin. And so it also deep cleanses and it refreshes your skin. So I'll give this a try and maybe do a review on this as well. So that was all that So I then I also went to the mall and I had a coupon for Victoria's Secret for a free pair of underwear, which I love getting because their underwear is so super expensive and then they only have the 7 for 26 deal like twice a year, I think. So anyway, I also had another coupon for $10 off a bra, so I picked up a bra as well. And this is the, I think it's the date night bra. And since I wear like white shirts, white button up shirts for work, they had some crazy colors like a red and orange one. And then they had like a black with rhinestones. And then they also had like a leopard print. And I was like, okay, none of those are going to work underneath like a white button up shirt. So they had this pink one right here. And I don't normally do lace, but I really do like, I have another bra like this and I really do like it. It's very comfortable and it's, just really nice like the straps sit well and it's just very comfortable so I thought this one was cute and no one's really gonna see my bra anyway other than well all of you but <laughs> anyway so I got this one it's super cute and this one was they were having a deal on it normally this one is $32.50 and so with that $10 off coupon I only ended up spending $21.80 at Victoria's Secret because I got another free underwear so I got it with this underwear. They didn't have the matching underwear in my size for the bra, so I couldn't get the matching panty to go with it. And then I decided to go with this because I don't have a red pair of underwear, and these are really cute because they're plaid. So, anyway, and these are all from the pink collection here. Victoria's Secret. And then I went to... I went to Focus, and that's a shoe store, and I've been looking for a pair of boots, like, all season long. I went to Payless, I went to Famous Footwear, I went to, like, every shoe store imaginable. They were either, I tried on a lot at Payless, because some of them were really cute styles, and I've been looking for, like, um, like the short kind of boots, because I already have uh, knee-high boots in uh, dark chocolate brown. So I was like, okay, well, I don't want to get knee-high boots again because I can wear those with, like, everything. So I was going to get some shorter boots. And everything that I tried on at Payless, like, I'm a six and a half in shoes. So anyway, I tried on a lot at um, Payless, and none of them worked. The six and a half was too narrow, so it was, like, squeezing my toes, and I was like, that is not comfortable. And then the seven, my ankle was just sliding right out. And I was like, well, that's not cool either. So I'm not going to spend $40 on a pair of shoes that aren't going to fit. So anyway, I found a great pair at Focus. And I really like sky high heels because I am super short. I am only five foot three. So I'm, you know, itty bitty. So I can get away with like four and a half inch heels. So I went to Focus. I found some really cute boots. I wanted some that had like fur trim, but I guess that's not as much in style anymore as it was before. So let me get one of these out here. I have them all nicely packaged. And I was going to get suede because they had them in suede and they had them in like this really cute um, 
like light beige but that would be harder to match so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get standard black but I wanted them in the leather because we have so many animals here we've got two cats and one dog and all of them are very furry and I could just see the suede boots getting covered in animal fur. So I was like, okay, I want the leather ones so I don't get fur attached to my boots. And I opened up the package and I was like, perfect, these are the leather ones. So these are the boots here. And they are so super cute. They're the black leather. And then they've got the little lace up. But they also have the sky high heels, which is fantastic. But it's not like a stiletto. So I'm not going to have the fear of like falling over because... I, while I love stilettos, it's very difficult to walk in stilettos for me because I'm not the most uh, coordinated person, I guess. Like, maybe there's something off in my inner ear that screws around with my equilibrium or whatever. So anyway, I'm not so steady in, in stilettos. So this one has a nice solid heel here and it also has, you know, a bit of a platform type look to it right here without it being too chunky of a heel because I don't like that either where it's just one solid thing here um, it's too chunky of a heel for me so this one is just perfect so I thought these were really cute and I got these for $38.99 and I just thought they were super cute and I was like you know what I am not gonna pass up this deal I'm gonna get these boots and I'm glad that I did and that was the only thing I got at Focus and then I went to Sears and, because that's the way I'd come in at the mall and whatever. We've got a Sears on one end and then I think a JCPenney or something on the other. I'm not sure. So I went through Sears because I had parked over there and I was looking at their perfumes because they were having a deal on their perfumes that was like 15% off of like back of the display. And I saw that they had boxed like gift sets. And those were 25% off, so I was like, hey, cool. So I was comparing the two and, I was, you know, doing a lot of, like, kind of bargain hunting, if you will. And uh, the 25% off the gift set was a much better deal because you get a shower gel and the Eau de Parfume in the 1.7 ounce instead of just one ounce. And then you also get a shimmering body lotion. So I got the Ed Hardy. And this smells fantastic. Oh my gosh, if you have not smelled this, you totally have to. Because it smells just ultra feminine, but also like daring and kind of sexy, which is nice. And it's not usually the style of perfume that I go for, but because um, I don't really go for like the sexy kind of scents and all of that, the stuff that you wear, you know, night and whatever. I'm kind of classic, you know, I, I go for, you know, fruity and floral. This still has that in it, but it's more daring. So I've been trying to branch out in my scents as well. So. Like, uh, so if you are in a store and they do have a tester of this, definitely test it out and see what it smells like on you. And that's the thing. If you want to buy a perfume, test it out on your body because the way that it reacts with your skin is what's going to make or break a scent for you so because it smells different on everybody that's why certain people can wear a certain perfume and you're like oh that smells so great and then you try it on and you're like ooh no that doesn't smell good it's because it's reacting with your body so that's the the main thing when you're testing out perfume smell what it smells like on you before you purchase it and this one smells amazing on me. I, I sprayed it on my wrist. And it just, oh, it smells so good. So anyway, I'm really excited about this. And so this was the 25% off. So I ended up getting this one. I think it was... I got my... Okay, so instead of it being $38, which is what it was originally, it's 38 I got it for $28.50, so I thought that was a really awesome deal, because I was like, oh, perfect, yay! So I'm really happy about this. And then I also got from Sears these really, really super soft, super comfortable little, like, house slippers, and they've got little Scotty dogs on them. Well, I'm not too much of a fan of dogs, I think the Scotty dog, um print on things is really really cute and all the other prints were kind of ugly I didn't like like polka dots I'm not much of a polka dot person but I thought these Scotty dogs were really cute and these are so soft oh my gosh they're just so 
they seem like they're going to be super comfortable. And these are from Joe Boxer. And all of their stuff, like my sister has a shirt from Joe Boxer, and it is just so comfortable. So anyway, I was like, I would seen these before, and I was like, oh, I want to get them, but I can't right now. So I went and I got them this time. I was like, you know, I'm just going to get them. So anyway, I got these for, since I'm a member, I got them for the member price, which is $5.99. So not bad. And they look like they're going to hold up fairly well. And they've got the little Joe Boxer sign on the bottom here. Just in the little rubber, so you don't go sliding around all over the place. Which sometimes can be fun. But anyway, so that is my haul video for you from Ulta and Victoria's Secret and Focus and Sears. So anyway, I will be doing some product reviews on the things that I purchased. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed my haul video um, for fall and winter because I got boots. Yay! Finally. And I will see you in the next video. Always watch Shadow Miss 90 at blogspot.com to see what's coming up next. And I hope that you have a beautiful day. Much love. Bye!